Hi, today we're going to talk about multimeters. No, not this sort of a multimeter, but rather multimeters like this. Multimeters like this are a great tool for anyone looking to get into technology and electronics, as you can use this to measure a lot of different things. You can use it to measure volts, uh, you can use it to measure amps, you can use it to measure resistance, and use it as a continuity tester. That's why it's called a multimeter, because it can mu mu measure multiple things. Before we begin, here's a fun fact. If you've ever seen multimeters like this, you know, yellow color multimeters, that aren't branded by Fluke, that means those are knockoff multimeters. Fluke has actually trademarked the color yellow for the multimeters because it's a very differentiating color. And that's why you'll see uh, good multimeters that aren't Fluke use, the color, use some other color, like this, the color orange in this case. Let's talk about the functions of the multimeter. The multimeter can be used to measure a variety of different uh, things. First of all, if you look at a multimeter, you'll see, that, uh, you'll see symbols such as V, uh, symbols such as A, and this funny looking Greek symbol. What these stand for are voltage, amps, and resistance. Well, you might be wondering, what are these different numbers within each, each range? So within voltage, within uh, resistance measurement, and within ampere measurement, you will see that there are multiple different ranges. And the reason that there are multiple ranges is because these ranges give you better resolution. That means better accuracy within each range, right? So imagine you want to measure something like a battery, right? A battery is usually 1.5 volts. So you know that it's going to be in this case below two volts. So if you select this range of two volts, you're going to measure anything below that. So zero volts to two volts, it's going to give you a very accurate measurement within that. I could also alternatively measure it in 20 volts, but that won't be as accurate because now it's measuring a value anything from zero to 20 volts. So your accuracy tends to suffer. Anyway, any sort of measurement you're going to take, you can always max out the range. So in this case for voltages, I can go all the way up to 500 volts uh, for DC and still measure my battery and still get a relatively uh, accurate reading. And then, again, if you're unsure about your values, you can keep going down, 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 down in your ranges till you get a more accurate value till you hit the point where your value is outside of the measuring range. So by following this method, what you can do is get a much more accurate result. Uh, the same is the case for amps, so current measurement, and resistance, ohms measurement. Um, you can use it, and if you ever get the value 1, 1 means it's outside of the range of measurement. Next, let's talk about the continuity tester function on the multimeter. To set it to the continuity tester function, look for a symbol like this, and then what you can do is you can basically use the two points to probe anything and check if they're electronically connected, if they're part of a circuit or not, right? And when you touch them together, you'll get a sound like this. Which is a very audible way of telling if your points are electronically connected or not. You can also use it in wires to see which wire corresponds to which wire. So you can use it on two points of a wire to test that. Next, let's talk about how to use the multimeter probes to measure what you're gonna measure. If you're measuring anything like resistance or voltages, what you wanna do is connect these probes in parallel to what you're measuring. If you're measuring continuity, or if you're measuring current, you'll be wanting to connect the, uh, the probes in series to what, you can, uh, to what you're measuring. And another tip for measuring current, if you're measuring anything below 10 amps, right? So that is up to 200 milliamps on this multimeter, then what you wanna do is you can keep your red wire connected to the middle input here. But if you want to ever measure more than 200 milliamps, and this will differ from multimeter to multimeter, um, you have to physically disconnect it and connect it to the 10 amp port. From this 10 amp port, you can unlock the 10 amp function to measure any current up to 10 amps. But do note that if you want to measure anything else, you will have to switch this back to its original position like so. Lastly, as a tip, if you want to ever measure something without having to hold it in position, you can always use something like alligator clips or hook attachments that can hold the multimeter probes to whatever you're measuring to make it easy for you to measure. Thanks. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking down below. You can also drop any of your questions down in the comment section. And if you want to check out more tips and tutorials, do subscribe and you can find more videos that I've made on similar topics. Thanks.